You guys know that it's all tore up. Torn? Tore? Whatever. I'm not that kind of person that has to like keep telling you all about my salads and oh my god, look how healthy I am. Jesus. driving Shh. do I want to oh now nah, I could do that okay you guys I'm going to the bank do you see my pretty car I love it you guys so I'm at work I just gotta run to the bank I had to go to UPS but the UPS location that I usually go to it doesn't only opens from two to five look at my fancy white blingy thing do you guys see this Look at my fancy key. I have a push button start. It's so fancy, I can't even. Remember that song? I have a Bose speakers too. Okay, wait for it. All these feelings I share. Remember that song? Stain. Are these still relevant? I don't know. Oh, I have a backup camera. Happy. What? What is it doing? I don't know. I'm still kind of a purist. I just don't like just using a um, backup camera. It's just not my vibe. I tr I don't know. I'd rather trust myself, you know? <sighs> this steering wheel, you guys. It's so comfortable. Why are my brakes squeaky? It's a new car. It shouldn't be squeaky. Are you turning? Grr. Grr. And then I got new windshield wipers. Went to Advance Auto. And, uh, and I got uh, windshield wiper fluid because it wasn't working. So I was like, oh, it must be a dome must be empty but then I put it in and it only filled up like this much so apparently it wasn't empty What's going on here? it's so weird to like vlog in my car because other people can see me I know that's weird to me it's like they're probably like watching me right now but I think I can get used to it. Oh, look, there's a trailblazer. Kind of miss mine. Even though I love this, and it has heated seats, and my butt is getting toasty warm. The creature comforts that I never knew I wanted are in this vehicle, and I love it. And it drives so nice and smoothly, and I dig it. And it's really nice having my own vehicle again. Even though, okay, the only thing I don't like well, it was hard to get used to, is um, the smaller steering wheel, because my trailblazer had a bigger steering wheel, more like trucky. Yes. And this car has a lot of pickups. 
pickup to it. It's got like a lot of pep. Does that make sense? Oh my god, there's ice flying everywhere. Oh, it's hot. Well, no wonder I have it on like 82. Pardon me, coming through. Yeah, it's actually like, it's really, really nice to drive. I'm sorry, I'll have to like put this camera somewhere else. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'll, I'll talk to you soon, I swear. Um, so it's later in the day, and now I just, I just vlogged somewhere. So it was a freaking huge storm. Oh my god. So I live in, like, New York. Not New York City. No, I can't see the Statue of Liberty from my house. <laughs> um, but I decided I was still hungry. It was, like, 9 o'clock. So I made a salad. Now listen, you can, I, I will link down below my last salad video. I think I called it a crouton for your thoughts. But I'll try to remember to link it. So I'm not a salad person. If you guys know me, you're going to know what I mean by this. Meaning, I'm not that kind of person that has to like keep telling you all about my salads. And oh my god, look how healthy I am. Jesus. I'm not that person. Listen, I'm just not. I think it's good. Salads are good. Listen, I'll eat them also. Just like the rest of people that eat salad okay but I'm really I've been loving a salad like more towards night but okay so I got lettuce obviously and I have like romaine lettuce and a little bit of that other stuff that I had left over oh. and I have cucumbers chopped up little ham chunks do you like ham chunks I have um, queso fresco, fresca cheese crumbled on it. A little bit of the yellow, what's that cheese called? It's just like cheddar cheese. Cucumbers and chopped up apple. And then I found this raspberry poppy seed dressing. I think it's by Brianna's it's called. Crazy good. And it's like nice and pink. It's like actual raspberry. It's really good. And then do I have some cheese that's on the side of it sure and are they white cheddar sure 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 because it's way better and I don't like cheese it's anyways but I needed like a crunch with my salad and then do I have a blueberry yogurt that I'm gonna put some what's that stuff called oh my god you guys words raid um granola by kind you know how they have like kind bars? Well, this is granola. I just put some um, dry shampoo in my hair for the morning because I'm not washing it tonight. Let it go another day. I let it like soak in, kind of do its a, do its thing. Oh my god. I don't know. But it's not Batiste. Tell me what you guys use for dry shampoo. I mean, if you use it, whatever. But I heard that Batiste has something bad in it, like whatever I don't care that much I'm not a nice person oh listen um so I'm gonna eat this salad while watching <laughs> Grey's Anatomy I'm on season 10 episode 17 do you know is the title so I have like this love hate with Grey's Anatomy I just recently got into it it's been out for like how many years and everyone used to talk about it I'm like mm -hmm. gonna watch Grey's Anatomy I used to get really mad so it was just like, I tend to go against what people tell me I should like, or that, oh my god, you love this. I do the exact freaking opposite. I don't know why. Is anyone else out there like this? Because this is how I am. Listen. And so then finally, I just, I got bored. Just like, I don't, I don't have cable. I don't really watch TV. So I was like, do it. Should I start a show? Start a show. So I started Grey's Anatomy. And I loved it. I loved it. Like the first, like, five seasons I loved it then I kind of fell away from it and then like six I was like okay seven well whatever 
And all of a sudden, I started watching it again after like a month hiatus because I just couldn't. It's like, that's enough, guys. And now I'm on season 10, episode 17, and I've been loving it again. So I'm going to see how long I can stick this out. I have a NASA shirt. Or as I call it, NASA. <sighs> Listen. That's all I had to say. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying my little vlogs. Um, I'm going to show you my car. When it's not like storming. I'm going to show you like the interior. To do like a deep dive. And I got to uh, situate my camera a little bit better. So when I'm driving, it's just this whole thing. You guys, I will figure it out though. But I love it, even though I got stuck today in the snow. But, to be fair, my tires are, like, completely bald. So, I have to spend, like, $1,000 on new tires. Great. Love it. Or whatever. And then, I also didn't have it in four-wheel drive. <laughs> I had it in two. Or all-wheel, but it's four. You know what I mean. And... But it, it's fine. And then I pulled into my driveway and the driveway wasn't plowed yet. And there was like nine inches of snow in it. And I'm like, no, I can do this. Bitch, please. You must have a mental disease. Finish those lyrics. Who knows it? Okay. I'm going to go. And I'll be vlogging probably tomorrow. And I'll see you guys then. So, it's another day. Um, I just made myself some lunch. It's a Sunday, so today is the Sunday before Christmas. So exactly one week till Christmas, and exactly four more work days till our big holiday at the bakery. It's going to be fun. I have a lot of really good help this time around, and it'll be great. And I'm probably going to go out tomorrow for a little bit with my friend. And so I was just cleaning... I was watching some vlogs. Why do I do it? They always end up irritating me. <laughs> the way people talk and like the things that they say in their vlogs. It's just, it's like a thing. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. There's, there's like an obnoxiousness to people talking about like their, you know, couples massages and just, it's nice that people can do stuff like that and and I'm trying not to sound like, like that, but the way, it also goes like hand in hand with the way people speak, which is, it was super good, and oh, like, do you guys know what I mean? It's, we all know those people, right? Um, so what I'm doing, boy howdy, is eating, ha ah! oh, that's hot, is eating some lunch, because I haven't eaten yet, and it's like, Five o'clock? Four o'clock? I don't know. So I'm eating Campbell's Slow Kettle Style Creamy Broccoli Cheddar Bisque. I microwaved it. Okay, wait. Can you guys see it? It's on my little pillow thing. Yes, I'm eating in bed. Yes, I'm eating soup in bed. But it's on top of my iPad. Makes total sense, right? Yes. And then I have a little piece of bread. And then I have my favorite drink. I just... I ju I Fresca, soda water, zero calories, whatever. <sighs> do you want to know what's irritating? Oh, wait, do you want to see outside? Ooh, winter time. So I have this um, camera in my room to watch Goomba when I'm away, or just to kind of keep tabs on him. And it gives me, like, motion events, you know, so that way whenever he moves, I can check in. <sighs> so I checked in yesterday. There's a motion event, right? 
It was behind my bed, behind my headboard on the, like, my, if you guys can see, like, you know what I mean? Like that part to my window. And I saw my cat go up behind there and he started clawing on the back of my headboard. Yeah. And it hurt mainly because I couldn't stop it. And this was like hours after that I was just like watching his, you know, the little things that my camera gives me. But you know what? It's in the back. Nobody can see it. Well, except for you guys. You guys know that it's all tore up. Torn? Tore? Whatever. Oh, look how pretty. Oh. <laughs> so, it's just winter. We just had the storm like two days ago. So, I live in New York. Like, you know, central upstate type-ish. It's a thing. So you know what bothers me? So I was watching a vlog. I already said that. And um, this girl yeah. just got um, gastric bypass, which if you guys have ever heard me, I've always like thought about it, but then I don't have any like reasons to. Like, I don't think it would be covered because it'd be like, you don't have any diseases, you don't have diabetes, you don't have heart problems, you don't have blah 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 blah. I'm like, well, thanks. That's cool. I know. But, you know. But. And then I was like reading about it, because sometimes I just get like curious. I'm like, if I could just easily drop like, even like 60 pounds real fast, I'd be happy. I don't have to be down to, like, what I technically should be. I don't care. But it'd be kind of cool, I think. But, like, whenever I read, like, the post-op diets and pre-op and all that, and, like, you can only, like, consume, like, put you on, like, a calorie, whatever, that's, like, less than the amount of calories I have usually on a daily basis anyways, which is why it's irritating to me. Because normally I only eat, like, once, maybe twice a day. Okay, do I eat pizza sometimes? Yes. Do I eat fast food sometimes? Yes, if it's convenient. But usually it's only like once in a blue moon. So it's just always been something that's eluded me. Like I love fruit. I love vegetables. I love chicken. I love soup. I love salads. I love chicken. Sometimes do I want pizza and sometimes do I want lemon heads? Yes. But it's, it's not like crazy. So... My weight has always eluded me, and I, I do remember one of my, it was an MS specialist, I went to see it because my regular neurologist um, wanted me to see him and see his opinions on my MS and stuff, and he asked me who's going over like my history, and he's like, do you have diabetes? And I said, no. You know what the bastard says? He goes, really? Like, really. And then he was asking me like, like my habits and do I like chicken? Do I like vegetables? Do I like fruit? Do I like salad? Do I like whatever? And I was like, yes, those are usually the kinds of foods that I eat. That's what I like. So I was like, so he was saying that, and he goes, do you eat breakfast? And I said, no. And he's like, okay, that's a huge, that could be like a huge reason why you have like a weight problem. I was like, because I don't eat until like later in the day. And he said, yes. He's like, you need to eat, like, at least three times a day. Like, and if not more, like, snack in between it. And I said, I just can't because of my lifestyle. And, like, I wake up, go to work. I don't eat during work. So then if I get home at, like, 3 or 3.30, then maybe I'll have, like, something when I come home and then eat dinner, maybe. Or just, like, wh whatever. He's like, that's why. I'm like, what's why? He's like, that's why you're overweight. I'm like, because I'm functioning at a calorie deficit? He's like, but if you consistently do that, you're going, your body goes into a starvation mode, and then it stores fat differently because it's always assuming it's not going to get, like, nutrients all day, so then it stores things differently. And I was like, okay, maybe that's true. But, like, it's frustrating because there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, yeah, I could get up at, like, 4 in the morning and have breakfast, but I do breakfast in the morning is nauseating, and I hate it. 
it's like, I, I just don't know. And then, so whenever I read about gastric bypass and you have to have like small meals throughout the day, you have to drink this, you have to do that, and you have to like constantly like fuel your system, that's not something I'll be able to do. So whatever. So I'm going to have some soup and I'll check back with you guys. Okay, bye. Shh. Wait, I can do that while I'm doing this? Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this. Come on. Wait, you, I've never Hi. been on a... You haven't. Hey, guys. So... <laughs> right now? Yes, because it's recording. That's man friend talking, but you can't really see him. Stick your hand over here. Come on. This is his hand. Nice, right? Yeah, that's right. It's going in my video. It just is. Oh. We're at McDonald's, so I just thought that I would vlog real fast. Okay. So all the things I did today... Say something. You can say something. He's never been in my vlog before. But he's a real person because he's here. Because mm -hmm. you, Yeah, see? He just said it. Mm -hmm. You guys. He's real. Washed my car today. What else did, I, what did we do? I filled my gas tank. I... We went to a diner first. Oh, we went to a diner! Guess what I got, guys? Eggs Benedict. Except, do you want to know? The best thing to do is to get, instead of an English muffin, you get a, what did I get? Biscuit. biscuit. Put it on a biscuit. It's really good. So now I decided that I'm still hungry, and it's 5.50, so I'm at McDonald's. And I have a coffee with a cheeseburger, and it's Aces. It's really good. And then, okay, it's the smelling like a fruit. Really no, the cheeseburger's not good. Cheeseburger's trash. The coffee's good. The coffee's really good. Okay. Do you want to know? Is if I expect them to like answer me? Like, tell me. McDonald's coffee is way better than Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Listen, it's just true. Do you agree with this? Right, but the food, none of it even mm. matches the coffee. So, I mean, if you had to be stuck on an island for a year, would you choose Dunkin' Donuts food? Over, Over McDonald's? McDonald's? For breakfast, no. McDonald's is great. Yeah, see, McDon McDonald's breakfast, I think, is king. That's my opinion. I'm, I'm also in my new car again. Just thought you guys should know that. I like to mention it because I'm really proud of it. Listen. Okay. Can you verify? It's a nice car, for sure. Thank you. It is a nice car. It's a comfortable ride. It, okay, do you think so? Like, you really do? You don't have to say that if you don't think so. I think it's comfortable to sit in. I like the safety features. Even though, it's not like I need them. Well, actually, the argument could be made that I probably do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, what else I have? Strawberry shake. Mm-hmm. So, I'll be vlogging again some other time. And this might be the end of the vlog, so if it is, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Unless I vlog tomorrow. And then that's just awkward because I just said bye to you. But we'll see how it goes. Okay.